Hey guys, Bing here. Um, today we are going to talk about a shared family. Okay, so let's start. So first, I'm going to create a project. Okay, so and let's pretend. So this project, uh, hang on, let me just type some word words. So so this is a project. Okay, so let's pretend this project is. Uh, is pretend this project is a, a classroom. Let's okay. If this project is a classroom, then a family. If you create a family and that is you, okay. So that is you. You are one, some. Uh, you are one, just one person in the um, classroom, and the family is just one uh, component, one element in the project. Okay, so now, what is shared family? So shared family is a f family uh, um, nest in a family. So, um, so for example, if that family is you, and shared family is something uh, in your bag. Okay, so. Uh, I'll s so share family, share family. So it's 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 the family inside this family, and let's say that's some um something in your bag or you know like a pencil or a a book. Okay, let's say that's some books in your bag. Okay, so if if the sh if that um, that sh family is shared, so if that family is shared family, which means all the books, so you will tell everyone in the classroom that you have these books, okay? And when the teacher said, "Oh, can we just do a schedule of the books?" and you you will tell the classroom that you have these books. So when you when you have a schedule for all the books in this classroom. So your books will show in that schedule, okay? So if that family inside this family, so if 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 the books in your books it's not shared, so which means you don't you won't tell anyone that you have some books in your bag, and nobody can use your books, nobody can read your books. So um, if the teacher say, oh, can we just do a list of all the books we have? And your books will not show in that schedule. Is that clear? Okay, so let's do a quick uh, um, example. Okay, so let's I'll just create a family. So this I'm just going to create it as a generic model. Okay. So um, sometimes we we will um, put some uh, family together to make it uh, just a single family, so we can use it for the project. So make it make it easier. So for example, uh, I think we will always um, most of us will have some uh, toilet uh, family. So for example, if I create one toilet. Um, the plumbing fixtures so we can just load some of that so for example I'll load a, a toilet in I open this toilet so from the Revit family folder and I'll load this into the new family so I'll place it here so and then we can also uh, of course place some uh, dimension and so for example with Instance depths, instance, and also you can create these uh, offset. So we can create uh, dimensions, say WC offset, and instance, and and you can also um, place some other family. So for example, I'll I'll just place a uh, maybe a sink. Okay, so just let's pretend this is a sink with some um, vanity as well. And also, uh, hang on, let me go back to there. So if I check this edit type, 
you will see uh, actually it's a shared family so you, you can tell from from this you won't see any uh, uh, rectangular shape thing here and also you can edit family and you will see this is shared family okay so okay, let's continue um, this sync this sync is a shared family as well see it's checked so if I load this into that family so I'll just place it roughly here and also I'll align this to this reference plan so this one I think it's not aligned I'll just AL align and lock okay so same we can create a sync offset a parameter with instance okay so now for example these are uh, the two family you can also place some more so for example I'll place um, maybe uh, let's pretend this is a 3d uh, a shower so I'll, this one I'll just check this shared as well okay so and also this is a plumbing fixture so all good load this into the this family and I'll place it uh, here and also I'll lock this shower at this corner so now we have this these three and also with some um, parameters okay with offsets so now and also um, sometimes I think we need to ch unlock this so when you adjust the overall size the offset will stay the same so see so now this is the family this is just a very quick example okay so now we can use this family so every time we place a, a, a bathroom we can just play, put this in so I'll show you if I go here I'll create a some um, wall so maybe a, uh, let me change the wall type so I think a bathroom about two meter by two meter okay so something like this and then load this into here okay so now I'll just place roughly place it here and then so you will see all this uh, grab handle so we can grab this to uh, match the so something like like this okay and also you will be able to set so for, for example sync uh, offset or mm, 500 maybe and uh, toilet offset 400 yeah that's good and then you can just open the door or something like that so that's a toilet that's a toilet or that's a bathroom okay so now so this is so the exact so if I look at this so the project is the classroom okay now the family so which is this one is you and these individuals so because they are all shared family so you if you tap you will you will be able to select individual them of the family here and then they are the books in your bag and if I create a, 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 a schedule so if I create a schedule and this will be a plumbing schedule so pay here so okay and I'll put um, maybe family and okay so you will be able to see here so we have three item here so these are uh, the one two three three item okay so this is um, how we can use shared uh, family so it's one single family but the these uh, pr plumbing fixtures they are all shared so it will be um, pick, picked up in this uh, sh schedule in your project okay so is that clear enough um, okay so let me show you oh actually um if if you if the the family in this family if 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 these plumbing fixture are shared family you won't be able to 
change them to not shared and overwrite it. I'll show you. So, so for example, this uh, toilet. So if I edit family and it's shared, right? If I uncheck it and load this into the family, and it will say, oh, you can't, you can't do this. Okay. So if you want to just change, swap this to a not shared family, you need to just delete. Not only you need, need to delete this family, you also need to go to family here and then delete this um, here. So delete. So it's, it's like a purge. You need to delete it and then purge it. Okay, so then you will go be able to go back here. So uncheck this shared, it's already unchecked, and load this back into the family. So now you can place it here, and then of course you need to just align, do a dimension, and then just associate this dimension to this uh, offset. Okay, and also um, now if I load this back to the projects, still I think yeah all good so actually all good so, but if you now if you try to tab select so see you can still tab select these two but you won't be able to tab this one select this toilet because now you 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 hide so if you use this example because now this uh, toilet is not a shared family so which means you hide this book in your bag and you won't tell anyone that um, you have this book. So when the teacher says, oh, can we do a schedule of all the books we have? And it won't show in this schedule. So see, that's only two. Okay. So let's try this uh, one more time. So this time, edit family because this thing, sync, it's a shared family, so I'll just edit family and uncheck that. But before I load this back into this family, so I need to delete this because this is a shared family. You can't, you just can't, you won't be able to uh, overwrite it. Okay, so uh, on, um, I think you can change the name, it's fine, but you, you can't just uh, use the same name and overwrite. So what you need to do is just delete and go. Also, you can um, or you can do purge, I think. So if you purge, so you will be able to find it here. So see this one. So check now and check this one and OK. So now you will be able to load this into the family. But you will need to just uh, place it align it, lock it, dimension it, and link the parameter. Okay, so now if you load this back into the project, and once again you hide another book in your bag, so you see you can't tap select this sync, and also in the um, schedule, uh, you won't see this uh, the sync family okay so that's it the um, that's shared family if if you have any question please let me know and I'll see you next time thank you bye